Sunday is a time for family and feasting. So today, I am going to take you through my Sunday feast special. Yeah, we're going to do a proper avadhi mutton biryani. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is dry roast my spices and then grind them to a beautiful fragrant garam masala. So I'm going to start with some of our warm spices. A bay leaf, a little bit of cassia, 8 to 10 nice mentholy cloves, a generous couple of teaspoons of cumin seeds, generous teaspoon of fennel seed, coriander seeds, generous 2 teaspoons of that. Now for a little bit of heat. So I've got pepper, chakri fool. Some mace or javitri, couple of brown cardamoms, really nice and full of depth, wood spicy. So, and of course, their perennial partners, one of my favorite spices, frankly, green cardamoms. Lovely. Okay, spices are done. Let's transfer it to a masala grinder. All of those beautiful spices are in my little masala grinder. Now, time to make our masala. Let's get down to our mutton marination. First thing, some aromatics. Two and a half teaspoons or so of our ginger garlic paste. Haldi, chili powder. Now, what I have here is some cashew nut paste just to give our meat a bit of richness and it will also help to thicken the masala as it cooks down. A generous amount of our garam masala. To bring all of these things together, about 200 grams of curd. I'm just whisking it. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, our mutton. So our mutton is in the fridge marinating away nicely. So mutton is out of the fridge. What I want to do now is season the meat. Okay, if you remember, we didn't put any salt at the time of marination. Alright, I'm going to let this uh, marinated meat come to room temperature. Again, just a touch of oil, some ghee. So just make sure that lamb is nicely coated with that ghee here. Out in the open, walking my lovely little spaniel. Now, time for us to check and see whether it's done or not. Oh yes, beautiful. Look at that really fantastic aroma emanating from this mutton. What I want to do is let it simmer away uncovered because we need to reduce that gravy till it's kind of nice and fairly thick. Now, let's get down to layering our biryani. What I have here is some beautiful basmati rice which we've cooked to 80% doneness. So, we've infused it with some whole spices, some saffron and some kevra. Over the top of the meat, a little bit of the onion, sprinkle of garam masala. And now, our rice. What I want to do now is just kind of make a little well in the center of this and I'm going to now pour over saffron infused milk, pouring a little bit right through the center and a little bit over the top. 
okay to give our biryani moisture flavor and color then some seasoning some fragrant fresh garam masala of ours and the balance onion finish it off nice drizzle of ghee we're going to cover it and get something heavy to weight it down just using the bowl with the rice over the top of that it goes okay that's just going to trap all of that steam in there let's make our quick kachumbar salad so a cucumber get yourself a nice bowl start assembling a kachumbar next tomato so in goes the tomato next mooli or daikon radish and that goes half an onion for a little bit of heat touch of chili powder salt and a generous squeeze of lime now mix everything together a little bit of dhania fresh coriander nothing like it perfect kachumbar done now quick raita half an onion so all you really need to do is get yourself some curd yeah just combine all the whey and the curd together so into this dahi i'm adding onion and just half cucumber now to season it salt touch of chili piece of lime and some more nice hara dhania in that goes so our raita is done biryani almost should be done by now yes those sides are nice and hot okay now for the moment of truth our biryani 